Give me a raise. <laughs> That's the best. Give me a raise. Hi, everyone. This is Dr. Wallace. Today, I'm going to ask you what advice would you give your previous boss? I would advise them to, like, pay well. <laughs> kind of treat everyone the same. Don't treat people differently and, like, have more standards for one person or another. My boss is actually really nice and he's very sweet but I would say like it would be nice if he was like a little bit more organized and also if he trusted me with more stuff. Uh, I guess just recognize potential. Uh, I too. Yeah, everyone has to start somewhere so just recognize someone's level and hope that they can grow. And also understanding because then like if you have like a schedule right. they can be flexible and like change hours to yeah. work with you and that'd be good. And also just not like crazy about like mm. don't be like totally like I don't know how to say this correctly but like be so crazy about the job that you want nothing else than like money or yeah. you know don't be so focused on one thing yeah. I would say also like them being understanding that you have like other stuff going on in your life and like that's true that like it's not only work um well this is this is a this is a hard question <laughs> but I, I would give advice to any boss to um kind of be more hands-on if it seems like the student or the the person, um, their employee enjoys having like hands-on interactions. So for example, um, I think some managers are afraid of like, oh, I'm too invasive or too involved or maybe I'm like overbearing, but it really depends on like the worker. So uh, some people will really appreciate organization and structure and like don't be afraid to uh, change your management based on like that person's preference. Maybe even ask them. For me, I think it's get to know all your that your team. They probably all have different personalities, different needs, different types of things that they need. Um, and I think that's super important because I've noticed sometimes I tell my managers, "Oh, I want this," and they're like, "Oh, I've, thank you for telling me. I never realized that." So I think it's knowing each person is different. I would probably ask her, maybe to. I think she's pretty good, but sometimes I think she needs to give more advice on, like, what to do. I don't have a job, but, like, hopefully my boss would be, like, like understanding and flexible. Like, if I had to take, like, a day off, like, they could, like, try to make oh, yeah. it work. yeah, no, he's super flexible, yeah. so that's... So, like, just be flexible and, like, I don't know, I don't... Yeah. Yeah, yeah my previous bosses are all professors or something, so it's really, like... They know me and I know them. They're gonna see me one day on YouTube. <laughs> Just tell them that you love them. Yeah, I love you so much. I love you all. <laughs> I think acknowledging what people have to say rather than... And I'm not saying that my, my boss does it, but I'm just saying in the past I've had that experience and I've been a boss and I've made that mistake of not acknowledging um, or I guess discounting, uh, illegitimizing what somebody's complaints were or their feelings rather than acknowledging and, and, and validating what they're saying. The only thing I would tell my current and previous bosses is uh, they find some time to themselves. They're very dedicated and they've sacrificed a lot for their employees, their team, um, their cohorts, on and on. So they try to take some time for themselves and uh, kind of just replenish their own energy. That's about it, really. I am my own boss. So I don't know, like, get shit done. <laughs>